What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching about how I went to P600 in my first 72 hours in the business. Now, the premise of this video is not to teach you how to do it. I'm just going to be sharing how I did it. You know, there's different systems out there. There's different blueprints and different ways that people did what they did in the business. You know, for some it may take longer. It's not a race. It's more of a marathon. But at the same time, success loves speed. And we always hear about that. But there usually is a unified system, a unified blueprint. Now, I'm not going to be going too much into that um, because there's some great videos in the company and out there in the business about how to um, build a business. But more so, I'm going to be sharing how I did it. What I did my first couple days, first 72 hours, what were some of the things that I were doing? So I'm going to go right into it, guys. You know, the most important part is, you know, when you come into the business, you have to make a decision. Um, this business is, it's not sales. It is network marketing. You know, build relationships. This is something completely different. And I think that the biggest sale that you have to make is the one yourself. You have to have the firm, confident belief. You've now entered the business. You are now involved in the company. You have to sell yourself out that you're in this for the long run. You know, if you're going to do this for a month or two, maybe try it out. This is not for you. Yes, there is a seven-day money-back guarantee in the business, but this is not a seven-day money-back guarantee blueprint. This is for the people that have made the commitment. Like, look, I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to give up. You know, never quit. You know, quitters never win and winners never quit. You know, LeBron didn't start just playing basketball to try it out. Justin Bieber, if you go back and look at Justin Bieber's videos, he was literally on the side of the streets playing music and singing, um, you know, making with a hat, making money. There's YouTube videos out there. These people that become extremely successful didn't just try to do their crap. They said, I'm going to do this until I figure it out, until I make it work. So, guys, you're in the company. No, every, every professional, every chairman, everybody you see winning in the company was once an idea, was once a customer, was once a beginner. You know, they say that every master was once a disaster. When I got involved in the business, trust me, I didn't, I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to present. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I was like, look, I'm going to light my butt on fire. You know, I poured gasoline on myself. I lit myself on fire and I took a lot of massive action. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I did it exactly. So the system, um, it's pretty simple. I'm reading off my notes here. Got some notes here for you guys. Jim Rohn says that your notes are a tangible product of your hard work. So always be prepared, right? What is it? What is it, area of the seven Ps? Or what is it, the five Ps? Poor, per, or poor, no, perfect. Perfect practice. Preparation prevents poor performance. There's a little nugget. All right, what is it, guys? System, what does system stand for? S-Y-S-T-E-M. Save yourself time, energy, money. When you come into this, don't reinvent the wheel, guys. You know, when I first got involved, I was gonna go out there. I was thinking, you know, I, I, I know how to talk to my friends. I know how to do this thing. I can figure it out. No, it's already been done before. You know, don't reinvent the wheel. You know, if you, if you study what's been done, it's already been done. You know, you have to do what they do. I'm sorry, do what they did. Say what they said to get what they get. You know, you just have to basically do what the people have already done as opposed to trying to go out there and figure it out on your own. Don't think that, you know, don't, don't have an ego. Don't have a pride in yourself. That's what I learned first. I was like, you know what? I know how to talk to my friends. I'm not going to follow this system. I know what I'm doing. I would spend 40 minutes on a phone call with my people and it wouldn't work, right? People would think that this, that, the other. But guys, stick to the system. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did my first 72 hours. So, day one, when I got in the business. Oh. Day one. When I came into IM, I barely had enough money to purchase my flight to fly out to Christopher Terry, the CEO. We went out to Vegas. And, you know, there were other top earners and six-figure earners from other companies. I had never made six figures in my whole entire career going out there. And when we get out there, um, you know, Chris sits us down at a round table and he shows us the business plan and gives us a presentation. We're there for five hours and I'm asking question, question, after question. And I, I, I'm just a student and I'm ready to go in. When I say I'm ready to go hard. And there's other leaders there they're talking a big game. You know, I had a big network. I, I was a previous six-figure earner. This, that, blah, 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 blah. I said, look, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're at ground level now. So when I came in, there had never even been a Plat 1000 before, a Plat 2000. No chairmans, no marketing, barely any. All we had was a harmonic scanner. We had nothing. We had no nothing to look at, no system, no duplication, um, no corporate, nada. So when we came in, there was nothing to look at 
and duplicate. Guys, it was a lot more difficult when we first started this thing. Matt, Jason, Brandon, Boyd, all the original people who came into this thing, right? Emory, all these guys. Now, you look at it now, guys, there's hundreds and hundreds of chairmen. There are so many chairmen, well, there's so many seven-figure earners in the company, I can't even count anymore, I've lost track. There are so many six-figure earners in the company, it's not even funny. All you have to do is look up, look down, look left, look right, and there's a six-figure chair. There's a chairman everywhere you look. So guys, it's been done before, you just have to take the action. You know, it's, it's not a matter of will this thing work, it's a matter of will you put the work in. So all these people there are talking a big game. Later that night, Chris takes us out, right? Takes us out for food, for dinner. And if you've ever been around Chris and Terry, let me tell you what, this man loves to eat good food. So we went to a restaurant in Vegas, can't remember the name. We sit down and we're sitting there and, and everyone's, you know, snack, he, Chris is ordering lobsters. And every, he's like, hey, whatever you guys want, order. You know, and people are getting, you know, everything on the menu, shrimp, pasta, steak, and I'm like, look, you know what? I'm not hungry. I'm starving. So I walked out of the restaurant and I sat on the, I sat right on the restaurant on the bench. And I'm sitting there and I'm making my list. While everyone else is eating, everyone's like, what the hell is Austin doing? He's a weirdo. This guy's tweaking out out there. He's not eating. What is he doing? He's pacing around on call. Guys, I knew the next day I was driving to Los Angeles. And I went to my Facebook, my Instagram, my phone book, everything that I had, and I made a list of everyone I knew in LA. And I was inviting, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about the inviting list. But I was sitting there, just inviting, 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 inviting. And I made my whole entire list. And everyone's in there having a good time, you know, doing their thing. And then afterwards, we go back to the hotel. And everyone went out that night. We're going out, having fun, partying, drinking. There's a time for all that, right? We all love to have fun. But look, I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to put the work in now and sacrifice, and I'm going to go in. And that night, I set up my products. Guys, the Harmonic Scanner used to take like three freaking hours of setup. You guys now just log on to the web analyzer. It's, it's easy. But back then, you had to like, you'd literally be like a, a head programmer at Oracle to figure it out. So I'm setting up my products. I'm doing all this. And guys, that night, I stayed up the whole entire night working, setting my goals, game planning, learning the business. Walking to my back office, I was prepared, I was ready to take massive action. The next day, the, the, the next morning, everyone comes home, they've been drinking, you know, they go to bed, they're tired from partying, and I go to LA. I get to LA, I go out there, I start doing meetings right away. Lunches, boom, Starbucks, boom, 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 presentation. That night we had an event. By the time that people woke up, from their hangover of partying the night before, these six-figure earners, wherever they were, I had already been doing a presentation. There was about 30 people that showed up at the presentation. I already have a harmonic scanner, and at the presentation, I FaceTimed Chris in. I asked him. I showed him I was serious. I went all in, right? And um, at the events, there's 30 people there. At, I'll never forget it. The penthouse in Los Angeles, and I put, I, I took a trade from the harmonic scanner. Now. I'm not guaranteeing you earnings, but what I did was I placed a trade on GBP USD, right? I did a buy, and it was on the scanner on the 15-minute chart for a scalp, and I caught 36 pick pips on a one-dollar lot. I made $360 in front of the whole room. Whole room signed up. So I hit P1000 my first day, basically in the business, before people even even rolled out of bed that night. So. I took the initiative to stay up, go all in. Next night, stayed up. I stayed up for days straight. And uh, I really saw myself after this, guys. I took it very seriously. That was my first time in IM. Second time I come back in IM, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different story, right? So when I came into the company, I went right to Mexico. Um, and Fernando Mandera was the first person I enrolled into the business. Now, this kid was an absolute workhorse. He said, look, I can't speak English. I don't have a team, but I'm willing to work. So I went down to Mexico, and we went all in. I'm going to show you guys. And by the way, for the people, uh, for the people that were there, and the people that were talking that big game, um, it's crazy because you know they'll, they'll, those people, by the time they were trying to figure out how to use their, pro how to do this, how to set up, how to start going out the middle of the business, we were, we were already making moves, ranking up. Our teams were already ranking up. By the time we were already chairman, they were barely just hitting platinum 600. Barely paying platinum 1,000. That's not a shot. That's not like you know, saying an aggressive approach. That's saying the truth. That if you 
take a position to go all out and take massive action, you're going to put yourself ahead of everybody else. They say that the average American works for eight hours a day. The average multi-millionaire works for 13 and a half hours a day. So really take it upon yourself to put that extra work in. Every hour that you invest into this business is an extra hour of investment into your future. So I went all in and uh, obviously it seemed to have paid off, right? So day one in the business, I get to Mexico. I sign, uh, I sign you know, Fernando up. And there was two other people there. We had to have somebody who was translating, and uh, we signed two people up. So there was three people in the business. Day one, we sat there with game plan, what are our goals? Day two, I can't make this stuff up. So day two, what we did was we went to a Starbucks in Mexico, in Mexicali. And that whole entire day, and then people saying, well, you know, it's, it's just an initiative. He was also, oh, oh my, my, my parents will let people over, or I don't have anyone to do my events. Or, and guys, you either, Everyone's a millionaire. You either make a million excuses or you make a million dollars. You decide you can't do both. So we didn't have anywhere to do this. We went to a Starbucks and we were doing meetings all day long. Boom, 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 boom. Like a Wolf of Wall Street. Pick up the phone and start dialing, right? Pick up the phone, start dialing. And we were making our list, just calling all day long. We were doing waves of people. You know, we got there at like 10 a.m. The first wave came through, like you know, maybe six people. Boom. Did a presentation, closed them out. We said, hey, look. And it was like fear of what we were showing them. Hey, look, whether or not, here's how I would approach when I would do presentations. I would say, look, what I'm about to show you, I'm showing you before I go show thousands of other people. You know, I, I, I trust, like, and respect you enough to show you first because I don't want you in a year from now to come back and ask me, Austin, why the heck didn't you show me this when you first started? So I'm taking all of my chips. I've been praying to God for an opportunity like this. I'm taking all my chips and I'm going all in. And whether or not you do this business, it doesn't matter. I'm showing you, so a year from now, you don't ask me why I didn't show you. Okay, does it make sense? So you enter you out. Boom, it was that simple. I wasn't begging people. Guys, people want what they can't have. Do not chase, do not beg people. People need this more than you need them. Understand that. Show the plan to more people. Say less to more people. Don't spend time chasing people down. And I'm not gonna go too far into the invite or how to properly do show. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm not gonna teach you what to do. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm not gonna show you exactly what to do. I'm gonna show you what was going through the process. You know, I, I understand the process. Not the little maybe fine details, but how this really went. What, what did they look like? So, boom, present. Did a meeting. And then what we did was, people say, no, 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 no. Guess what, guys? Go for no. I would go for 20 no's per day. Some people look at this business, you got to shift your mindset. I would love getting told no, baby. I don't care about the yeses because the more no's I get, the more yeses I'm going to come across, right? And you got to shift your mindset to that. People get discouraged. And trust me, people don't, I don't, I don't like being rejected. Who likes being rejected? Who likes going up in the club to a, a girl and trying to get her number and she's like, uh, oh, you're a weirdo. Nobody likes that. In this business, when you're trying to share, especially with family members, friends, let me tell you what, guys, there's a few things you gotta understand. When you come into this business, you will most likely make more money with friends. You will most likely make more money with friends. most likely make more money with friends. Woo! Run that back. You will most likely make more money with strangers than you will your best friends and family. Let me say that one more time. You will most likely make more money with strangers than your best friends. And why is that? Because familiarity breeds content. Your friends and family love you, but they don't always respect you. It's kind of like, oh, that's Austin. <laughs> High school dropout, homeless living in his car, in and out of jail, worked at McDonald's, and now this guy is talking success. What does he know? When they see you go chairman, your phone will start ringing. Okay, trust that. So don't always believe that, yo, my homies are gonna do it because the people that you think might kill it might not even join. And the people that you're like, yo, don't never join the business. <laughs> they might come in and crush your business. Trust me, believe that. I remember my first, oh my goodness, there was this one girl that I, I'm going down my list. My, my up, uh, you, 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 want, you want to really take this thing seriously? Guys, if you're already in the business or you're new to the business, doesn't matter. When I travel the world and go to countries and stuff and I'm doing this training, people will say, I'll say, hey, who here, raise your hand if you feel like you've exhausted your network. If you feel like you've called all the people on your phone and you feel like you've ran out of your warm market. Now, warm market, cold market, warm market is the people you know, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your acquaintances. Cold market is strangers, people at the grocery store, people on your Uber driver, right? These people you don't know yet. So, wow, who, your warm market, oh, I've, caught, I've caught everyone, everyone, they're not interested, blah, 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 bull crap. I call you on bull crap. Open your phone right now. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. They open their phone, they go to their contacts, I start scrolling down, I'm like, who's Bob? Have you presented Bob in business? Yeah, he said no. Okay, who's, who's Sarah? 
Oh, dude, I don't want a car. No, 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 she won't really do it. No, 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 we're calling Sarah right now. No, 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 she won't. Look, never prejudge. Never prejudge. So, boom, call Sarah. I, I call this girl named Carrie, right? And uh, I hadn't talked to her in like five years, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to call her. She's not going to join. My blind's like, bro, call her now. So I call her, ring, ring, ring. She pices up, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, bro, there's no way she's gonna join. She's like, hello? I'm like, hey, Carrie, what's up? It's awesome. Oh, I said, oh my gosh, how are you? I'm like, Carrie, how you been? Blah, 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 I'm in a rush, blah, 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 what's up? Well, hey, I'm working right now, I just worked a double, a double shift. You know, I'm really tired, I can't wait to get off. I look at my upline, I'm like, yo, dude, she, she's like, she's really tired. Should I go home? She's like, invite her. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. Carrie, so look, after work, what are you doing? Oh, you're probably going to go home. I'm going to do really tight. So, invite her. Oh my gosh. So, Carrie, look. I'm calling you because... I'm sorry. Whew, I just drew a blank. I said, Carrie, look. I need you to come over after work. I said, I wouldn't be calling you if this wasn't really important. And if you don't come over, like, you're going to literally regret this. Almost if you found, like, a, a million dollars in, 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 in your backyard and in, in golden diamonds buried over your backyard. And you had, you had an hour before you know, people came to get it. Who, who would you call to come help you? You know, if you had four flat tires in the middle of the desert and your phone's on one percent, who are you gonna call? How are you gonna call them? Are you gonna call them like, hey man, you know this one you can go pick me up? Or yo, bro, hey, uh, I need you. I, I need you now to come pick me up. Only the urgency and the action you would take. So I'm like, look, Carrie, you, you gotta come. It's it, this is important. I found a gold mine. I found a gold mine. If you do not come over by tomorrow, it's already gonna be too late. This will be the biggest mistake you've ever made. I need you to come over. We're not coming. Boom. She's like, oh, I'm so tired. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, I look at my upline. I'm like, dude, yo, she's, she's dude, she knows she's gonna come over something. And my upline looking at me, he's like, finish her. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. Okay. I'm like, look, Carrie, boom, come over, close her. She drove over an hour away from work. She comes over. We presented the business. She's half falling asleep. Boom. She signed up right on the spot, called her sister. Her sister signed up right on the spot, couldn't believe it. So that was a little story for you guys. Never prejudge anybody. So that day, Starbucks. How we close the meetings? How we close the meetings? I don't. No, no. Don't have the money. Don't have the money. Don't have the money. Cool. You don't have the money. Cool. Great. Let, let, let's write your list right now. Write my list. What do you mean? I was already foreseen. Assume I assumed the close. Guys, I was going all in. I said that. Guys, when I first joined MLM before I am in a previous company six years ago, I was 8 a.m. knocking on people's doors. Yo. I was doing whatever I could. Guys, think about it. If I was going to give you $1,000 for every person you presented the business to in your first 72 hours, you would get off your damn butt. I don't care what you say. Well, dude, people don't want to do it, man. They're not interested. No, it's not true, man. It's not true. People do want to do this, right? Especially in the time like right now. It's just how much option you want to take. So at the end of our presentations, what I would do is I had a piece of paper. This is, this is, this is really important. Watch this. I had a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I would show them. I'd say, hey, look, okay, guys, you know, look, we, we gotta we gotta finish this thing up. We're about to do another presentation. We have a new wave of people coming. Now look, these people coming, here, here's here's the catch. You guys heard it first. This is all about timing. And you know, I'm not hyping it up, this out the other. Guys, what we have here, you don't need to hype people up. Like the, the facts show the products sell themselves, people are winning here off of being a customer, not even building the business, being a true customer. People love the products, but I push urgency. If you guys want to go chairman, if you guys want to take this thing the whole way, if you want to hit P600 in your first 72 hours, best believe you got to put some urgency in you. You got to put fire underneath people's butts. Timing. It is about timing. I'm going to tell you what. Don't let anybody ever tell you, oh, it's not about timing. Guys, right place, right time, right people. So right here, I would do this. I would have a list. And I would say, look, now here's how this works. If you, if you guys get involved now, and even if I'm not the money, I'm not the money. Okay, cool. I, I, I build packages, sixteen dollars. Everyone has sixteen dollars. I just saw you buy a McDouble and a cheeseburger. You guys, pe people have sixteen dollars, guys. It's, it's if you don't have sixteen dollars, then you really need to do this business. This this, this, this for you, right? Because if you don't do something different, you're going to keep getting the same results. So I say, look, here, here's you, Sally. Here's you, Sally. And if you get if you get involved now, before we present to Eric, Bob, Jane, Jacob. They're about to come now, but you guys are first. If you get involved before them, boom, you'll go above them. Obviously, don't like overpromise and underdeliver. Don't lie. I mean, this is really how we built. We would build these. We would build in a straight line and, and, and launch, right? So we would we would visually show them this, 
And we would say, now look, we, we gotta kick you guys out of here, but look, if you wanna launch and stick around, we're gonna have a table over there where we sit, we'll get you guys involved. Laptops were already open, boom, as soon as they closed. So we sat there, and, and six turned into, you know, 11, and no, 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 yes, boom, bang, make your list, start inviting, boom, 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 boom. Say the Starbucks. Guys, Starbucks is anyone can go to Starbucks. Maybe not during quarantine, but dude, I mean, there's no excuses. I mean, we will do whatever it takes. Boom, 11. Next presentation. By, by the end of the day, we probably have presented it to about 70 people, right? And out of those people, we talked about how the very next day, and, 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 and mind you, I'm sorry, during day one, we already put it into Project 100. We said in, in, in five days, we are going to have, in five days, we are going to do a hotel event of 100 people. Guys, let me mind you, I didn't have the money. Fernando didn't have the money. We, we, we were eating street tacos and we were sleeping on couches. We didn't have the kind of money that we needed, but we put it into reality. We put it out there, right? If you build it, they will come. So it's kind of like if you build the stadium, the fans will come, right? You, you don't just wait for the fans to come and show up and then you're out and go to stadium. No, we put it in, in reality. We didn't know how we were going to get the money, but we put it up. We put it out there into uh, the universe. So we said, look, five days we will tell them. Didn't know how. So we said, hey, day three, we're going to do an event at a boy Matt Yell's house. Now let me tell you about this. We did an event, and from that day, we promoted to this event. And at this event, people are starting to show up. And we're in Mexicali, right? And it's, it's hot as the desert, right? It's burning, scolding hot. And people are showing up, and as they're walking in, we're having to say, hey, look, hey, hey, hey as you, look, watch this. As they're walking in, we're saying, hey, watch what, 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 what your step. I want you to understand that, you know, uh, it's a little dirty. They, they had multiple, like, four dogs. And as I can't make this story up. This is my homie. I'm not, well, we're not, we don't talk much anymore. It's not in the business, but I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, talking down on this situation. But there was dog poop and piss, I'm sorry, pee all over this concrete backyard. We had nowhere else to do the event. But we weren't gonna let that stop us. And as people are walking in, we're like, yo, mind yourself, watch out for the dog poop. And people are walking in, they're like, yo, what the heck is going on, bro? And we do a presentation, 30 people show up. We're sitting there talking about a financial revolution. We're talking about this, that, the other, where we're going, our vision, bang, bang, bang. And there's like dog poop and pee all over the backyard. People are like, what is going on here? Guys, day four. And they always talk about, uh, and, and, and I'm condensing time frames, right? Within this time period, I had already hit P600, Fernando had already hit P600, and what we did was, is, you know, we, we were building Fernando as opposed to just, you know, our, we, we were helping others more than ourselves. So within these first three days, I'm going to go into it too, about, uh, let me see here where we are. And this wasn't stopping me, right? right? I, I was with a team, but I was still enrolling. I was still going through. And I'm going to go through the list of the right here, too. Day four, we did an event at a, at a nicer house. Thank, thank the Lord. But there was about 75 people there, right? The first day, I called, I called Kristen. And you could call your upline real quick. Presented the business. Boom. Closed out strong. And look, it's called Fam Bam. Fam Bam. From a meeting, book a meeting. So from that meeting, we booked the next meeting. Bam, bam. You can say book a meeting from the meeting, from the meeting, book the next meeting. Either way you put it. So we had already, so from the Starbucks, we talked about this event. From here, we talked about this event. And then from this event, talked about the hotel event. Now, mind you, we didn't have money, so we literally paid for the hotel room last second. Last second. And we're thinking there's no way we're going to fill up 100 people, right? And instead of filling the room full of 100 people, there was 130 people in the room. Standing room only, phenomenal event, and um, a lot of people got involved. Now those were the first five days, the action we, we took. And when we weren't working, we were working, right? I mean guys, we sacrificed sleep, we sacrificed, you know, I mean, we, 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 we put it into a perspective of, like I said, if I was gonna give you $1,000 for every single person you presented to the business, if they, if they got involved, didn't get involved, it doesn't matter. How many people in your first 72 hours would you present the business to, right? All out massive action. And now it's easier, right? Especially during quarantine, 
you know, with the, with the virus, you guys can see how, you know, online has become so essential to build the business, you know, not just events. You don't have to just go and face to face or, you know, do, do coffee meetings or meet up in person, have people come over to your house. That's what I did. I said the first 72 hours, we're going to do a launch events. I'm going to invite guys. I did this immediately, but also getting people on presentations. You can do the zoom calls, you can do three way calls. I'm not going to go too far into it guys. I'm just showing you what, what, what the action was. You know, there's videos out there on YouTube. There's videos in the company about how to invite, how to present, how to make your list. I'm going to kind of go into that a little bit right here. But don't, don't get too mixed up and pe people will never really remember what you said. They'll remember how you made them feel when you say it. And guys, people follow people who know where they're going. Guys, people at the end of the events will be like, I don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm in. Right? They, they, they just saw the vision. Like They saw like, dude, this thing works. It makes sense. I'm all in. So you don't have to spend too much time about, you know, I'm going I'm to wait till I see. Some people say, well, I'm going to wait till I see results. Well, I'm not going to start building till I see results. I think that's a naive thing to do. Because why would you wait when you could, even if you're working full time, you're in school full time, guys, this obviously works. There's so many success stories and it's almost a self, it's a selfish thing to do to not go out there and share this with somebody else because in your contact list is the next Alex Moore, the next Jason Brown, the next Matt Rosa, the next Garrett Roberts. Guys, that person is in your contact list. You walk, you walk past the next six figure earner every single day, every day. They say on average, we meet. Um, the average American meets an average of 14 new people a day. We engage with 14 strangers a day. Every one of those people could be the next P600, P1000. Not everybody will be a chairman, but let me tell you what. Like I said, never prejudge people. So what, what my point of view is here is he got massive action. Now, one thing Jim Rohn said is um, it's, hard, it's hard to be rich. Yeah, it's hard to be rich. It's hard to be P600. It's hard to hit this. It's hard, it's hard to be broke. It's hard not to be. It's, it's hard to stay a customer, right? Guys, two and three, are you kidding me? I think that's absolutely insane. This is one of the most lucrative compensation. This is the most lucrative, the most powerful compensation I've seen in my entire life in the industry. And Jim Brown says, it's hard to be broke, hard to be rich. Go for nose, like I said. Um, I will go for 20 nose a day. Switch your mindset. I get paid for nose. Well, how's that possible? Well, let's think about it. If my conversion rate, it's all, it's all ratio. If I talk to 10 people, out of every 10 people I talk to, two people sign up on average, then I do the math. And I am, how much, area, it's, what, what is it per person that you want? 35? 25? 25. 25, so 25 now. So let's break this down. Uh, I'm not, I, I didn't graduate high school, so don't, don't, don't kill me for this math. But if, if, if I talk to 10 people, eight say no, two join, that's 50 bucks. Enrollment bonus right there, right? Now, you break that math down, you would divide that out of those eight people. So you do, this would trip people out too. So you do, you do divide by eight, that's six dollars and 25 cents. That's six dollars and 25 cents for every person that tells you no. So every person I'll present to, if they're like, no, I'm not interested, uh, I'm not doing no, no, no worries. I just got paid six dollars and 25 cents for you saying no. They're like, no, I said no. No, I'm not joining. No, I know, I know, I know. I just got paid six dollars and twenty-five cents for you saying no. How? How? Then they're like, "How did you just get paid for me saying no?" It's all about mindset. Go for no. I would go for twenty no's per day. I would not sleep until I got told twenty no's per day. Mindset, guys. Different type of vibe and frequency. Are you willing to sacrifice the now for the future later? I mean, it's really just coming down to you guys. So, this was what I was doing the first seventy-two hours. There's, there's, a, there's a really good quote about one of the top uh, network marketers who made tens of millions of dollars in the industry. He said, there's no secret. People say, what's the secret? What's the secret? So, there is no secret. He said, I worked really hard on my idea to get it as good as I could. And then I told person after person, I ended up showing my idea to 1,200 people. 900 said no. 300 people showed interest. Only 85 actually did anything. 30 took a serious look. And 11 made me a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Right? So, let's go over this. Your list. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a list. It's really simple. I don't want to go too far into it because there's videos out there. You know, your, your, your uplines, your chairman leaders. If you go high enough, guys, you're going to find something in your business. Will my upline 
my upline doesn't help me here, but the person who wrote me quit. Stop that. Fire your upline right now. Text your up, pause the video, text your upline, say you're fired. Fire your upline. Because when you become the leader that you're looking for, that's when you're supposed to make a lot of money in network marketing. Don't rely, oh dude, my upline doesn't help. Good. Guys, in, in my first few years, I didn't have much upline support. I didn't have people in my city helping me, nurturing me, babying me. That's gonna make you a better leader. That's called opportunity. Well, nobody in my state is a chip. Well, nobody in my city is a That's opportunity, right? So it's all about different shit in my sense. So the list, the bigger your list, the bigger your business. Guys, what I say is right away, when you're launching new people or when you get involved in the business, I make a hot list. 20 people right away. You know, we talk about a list of 200. When I got involved, I said 200 people, what? I, what? If you gave me, if you gave me a, a bag of money, I couldn't even find 200 people to give it to right now. And then I said, look, wait, wait, let me look at my phone book, my yearbook, my Facebook, right? Who do you know? When you start to make that list, you get, you don't prejudge, get creative. And, um, Give me one second, guys. Hold up. Bear with me. I'm going to give you guys some of the salt. I just had it. It's right here. I'm going to show you guys all of the nuggets. Oh! Start. Here we go. Busy. Bang! Where that? What is this? You better stop playing with me. Nah, stop playing. This has to be it. Yes, sir, Steve! Yes, sir. All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, we know that our network determines our net worth. So, guys, make a list. Real quick, 20. Who do who, 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 who you have influence over? There's three types of people, right? There's people that you have influence over. You know, if, if Karen's like, I'm going out tonight, all her girls are like, oh, if Karen's going out, we're going out. You know, there's always the people that you have influence over in your life. And those are the people that are first go. Um, to talk to you first. Um, and there's ways to go about this. You know, if you have a higher level influence of people, you know, what I say is, if someone's a 10, connect them with a 10, right? You know, be like, hey, what I, what I would do, what I would invite them, I'd be like, look, this is probably not for you, but do, like, I, 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 I want you to take a look at this. And instead of inviting them to prospect them, I'd be like, hey, look, th this is not for you. This is something that I'm getting involved in. I, I, I look up to you so much that, hey, maybe you could take a look at this for me because I really value your opinion. Boom. Right? And then they see, they're like, hey, what is this, man? And then I connect them, hey, like, let me get to the phone with, uh, you know, this guy, blah, 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 somebody has a 10. Anyways, list. 200 names. The bigger you are, the bigger your business. This is the foundation of your business. Um, this is really going to be key. Always be connected, always be adding. For the first 72 hours, let's take massive action, guys. Literally present as many people as possible. And then you have the invite. You know, I'm not going to go too far into the invite. I have a video on YouTube with Matt Rosa on the invite. I'm also going to be dropping a video on how to invite as well and going deep into that. But here's, here's really the basis of the invite, guys. You really want to create urgency. Um, what I would do, guys, is when I invited, um, there, there's videos on YouTube, there's videos on the company, so watch those videos. But when I would do this, it, it would really just be about, I would remove the emotional attachment from the outcome. So I don't care whether it's a, a yes or a no. That's not my concern. Don't get too concerned about if they're saying yes or no. That's where you mess yourself up. I'm looking just to educate this person on what we're doing. And whether they say yes or no, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. Because if, once you attach yourself to that, every no you get, you're gonna get discouraged and this, that, and the other. But uh, also guys, create urgency, fear of loss. And I would show you this, I'm like, look, you know, whether or not you do this, it's okay. I'm just showing you, like I told you earlier in the video, that I don't want you to regret this and look back a year from now and be mad at me that I didn't tell you. 
because I'm about to go show thousands of other people this, so you're in you out. Guys, say less to more people. You know, your invite call should take no longer than 60 seconds. I'm not gonna go too far in the invite. Like I said, there's videos out there and I will make it a future video. But um, it, pe people follow people who know where they're going. You know, I'm not, I'm not sitting there like, dude, and never beg. People don't, people want they can't have. I'm like, bro, please, man, you gotta do this. Keep it short, sweet, and simple. K-I-S-S, -S. keep it super simple. You know, you're not talking about network marketing or business. I'm on the call just simply saying, look, you know, when are you free to beat up? We, we gotta beat up. Um, so again, I'm not gonna go too far into this other video, but, but um, Boom, four audios, these are key. Guys, your first 70 hours in the business, completely for audios, they change everything for me. Because once you have that base knowledge and that base understanding of what this industry can do for you, you're, you're all in. So number one is Jim Rohn, building your network marketing business. Jim Rohn, building your network marketing business. You, you guys can fall asleep to this, guys. Your subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. Listen to these. Guys, from the hours of 12 to 12, between noon to midnight, you should be on the grind, presenting on calls the whole entire day, launching your team. It's not, people say, well, it's hard to do. I think it's hard not to do that, right? So number two, expand your mind by holds and bugs. Expand your mind by holds and bugs. Number three, Robert Kiyosaki, business of the 21st century. And number four, Eric Moore, GoPro. I hope this video was informative. Really understand that it's about taking massive action. There's somebody out there right now that has no more than you, that's no more resourceful than you, that no smarter than you. They don't have rich parents, guys. I, I've heard it all, guys. I've seen people that are homeless, high school dropouts, that have done this. People have done it, people have done it their first hour in the business, their first day in the business. Um, and, and, and we're going to go into other videos that I'll be dropping in this series. I'm going to teach you guys how to go Chairman 100, uh, Chairman, Chairman in 90 days, and Chairman 100 in one year. Um, and I, I say it again, habitually teaching you guys. I'm sorry, I'm going to share how I did it. But, um, and even if it takes you longer, don't get discouraged. Like I said in the beginning of the video, make that commitment. You're in this thing for, for six months, a year. Guys, your first year of network marketing is the hardest. 95% of people quit their first year in the industry. Watch this. I'll finish the video off with this. 95% of people quit their first year in the industry. It's the hardest, right? Most people quit. Their, well, don't most people fail in that thing? Uh, yeah, dude, most people fail in everything. You know, most, most people quit jobs, relationships. You know, now in 2020, the average four-year bachelor degree out of college, by the, by the time they retire, will work in nine to 11 different industries. Not jobs, not jobs, industries. The world's changing. Guys, 96% of people who get a real estate license never sell a house. Most people fail or quit what they do. This is no different. This isn't some get rich quick. This is, this. If you treat this business like a hobby, it'll pay like a hobby. If you treat it like a multi-million dollar business, guess what? It'll pay you like a multi-million dollar business. 95% of people, three years in the same company, put in their work daily as a part-time business, start making a full-time income. 90% of the people who do the business every day committed on a part-time basis, five to six years in the business, reach a six-figure position. 90% of the people who spend 10 years in one company every single day, Bill Gates said, I never took one day off of my 20s. I never took one day off of my 20s. I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying, I'm trying to be on Bill Gates. Bill Gates bank account. Not what he's doing with all that other stuff. A little, a little crazy out here. Believe this. 90% of the people who stay in a company for 10 years consistent every single day, part-time basis, they hit the top rank of the company. I don't know about you, but no, no, Chairman 500 sounds pretty, uh, pretty good to me. If it took me 10 years to hit, if it took me 10 years to hit Chairman, I see people back home and they're like, oh, I'm about to get a raise in my job. And I'm like, what? Yeah, bro, I'm about to get a 23 cent raise in like three months. We're working there for five years. People get excited about a 25 cent raise at their job every two years. A $2 raise. I'm telling you what, if it took me 10 years to go Chairman 100, Chairman 10, would it be worth it? It'd be worth it for me, man. I'm telling you what. So guys, I hope this video was informative. Watch those videos, take massive action. I believe in you. 
If you don't do it, somebody else will. So, see you on the next video. Let's get it. Bye, bitch! <laughs> what? The fuck? I'll put that in the video too. Do it.